is a demonstration of the Lindbergh Blue M 1200 degree C box furnace. It has a digital multi-programmable multi-segment controller, a microprocessor based self-tuning PID control provides optimum thermal process and helps prevent overshoot. It has a horizontal side swing door, a temperature range of between 100 degrees C to 1200 degrees C, and an inside dimension of 15 inches by 15 inches by 15 inches. It also has a single shelf in the middle of the furnace, and it is powered by 208 to 240 single phase, requiring a 25 amp service. First we'll take a look inside. The door is very convenient. I like this whole setup here. How this can swing completely out of the way uh, so you can do your work. Um, we redid the clasp and actually shimmed this bottom one here so that when the door closes, it closes perfectly uh, inside this seal. So it's nice to have that. Yeah, both of them click at the same time. Um, We'll power it up. Now, this has several different modes that are, are normally used. But the very first thing you should remember is that when you first start this up, if this light does not go on, which is your interlock system, then all you have to do is push mode and you'll see lock on and just hit set and you're good to go. Now one other thing that also acts as the door interlock so if for example the heaters were on at the present time and you open this it would turn off the heaters you could uh, make your exchange and then once you close it again it would restart. Uh, the first mode we're going to look at is manual mode. Now, manual mode is simply this, that it will allow you to vary the output to the heaters from 0 to 100 percent. But again, this is strictly manual. Uh, you don't have any PID sets being employed to control any overshoot. But as you can see, when you uh, put 100% power to the heaters, it climbs in temperature very quickly. Uh, in the same manner, you can lower this back down. And we'll just bring this back down to zero. Push reset. Now remember, now the heaters will not run. Uh, we're going to change modes. So we'll push our mode, we'll put our lock on, but we still have our manual on. So just push mode again and set. Ah, okay. Now we're in um, uh, local and automatic. Um, the other uh, mode of operation is running a program. All these programs are uh, uh, pretty easy to understand step by step in the book. Um, what I normally like to do is I take the very first sample program and I go, by, go through it step by step. Um, sometimes they say events with some of these um, uh, programmable logic controllers. Sometimes they say segments. Um, in the case of this controller here, uh, segments are well explained. Um, it's basically the different steps of how you want things to heat up, soak, and um, uh, cool down again. Um, but it's pretty easy to understand. I decided to run this first program. Uh, if you push the program button here, this program here, and if we run that, there. That's right, I believe, yes, we start off at 25 degrees C, 
and this will continue to ramp up until we get to 125. But it, it ramps up at a certain rate that you put in, which in this case was 30 minutes. So it'll actually take 30 minutes to come up to the set point. Um, that's running a program. Again, uh, these programs, here, I'll hit reset here. Um, are, are all, you can edit anything in these programs. If you hold the set key down for more than three seconds, it allows you into the programming menu which allows you to step through different things such as the setting up the password and uh, other parameters. Um, alarm set points where the alarm will signal when you get to a certain temperature. Um, the last mode of operation I want to show you is probably the most popular is single set point. Now when you're in local it pretty much defaults to the single set point. And that just simply allows you to raise or lower the set point. Now, this um, furnace is rated for 1,200 degrees. See? So I think we'll just run this all the way up, and we'll see how well it controls. I did this uh, yesterday, and... Um, it went right up to 1200 degrees and overshot maybe 10 degrees and within a couple minutes it just sat there and went back and forth around 1200. It was very, very reliable. Oh, too far. By the way, that's our limit. Um, set point limit is uh, 1225. It will do that, uh, but we like to stay within specification hold on we're almost there and here we are and boom okay here we go uh, okay we'll come back in a little while and see how we're doing and uh, once we get up to maximum temperature. Okay, we're a little bit over halfway there. We're at 670 degrees. It's way too hot to open it up at 1200 degrees, but we'll just take a peek inside now. And as you can see, one, uh, actually there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight banks of heaters, and they're all lit up. And I uh, will put this back in. The interlock is made and it'll continue to heat up. Then we'll come back in a little while and see how we're doing. Okay, we're back now and uh, we are up to maximum temperature. Uh, it's controlling presently. It'll go up and down plus or minus maybe uh, four to five percent, something like that. And um, Another nice feature service-wise is behind here, uh, there is a plate, I like this especially, that you can remove and have access to the thermocouple itself. So the actual thermocouple um, measuring the temperature that goes into the furnace is right here. And uh, if you want to check that, it, of course this goes down to the controller and the display. But you can also hook up one of a variety of uh, portable uh, temperature probes. We have these made here by TGAM. Uh, Omega makes some very convenient ones. And it's a nice way of just double checking to see how accurate uh, and close the uh, controller itself is. So it's reached its maximum temperature and uh, right now it's been holding it there for about the last hour. It's been at 1200. It drops down maybe about to about um, 1200 lowest highest is about 1205 so it does a pretty good job and this completes this demonstration